Hey friends, Chris Mahoka here. This video is for all my fly fishing friends. When you're out on the river fishing and you're fishing a dry fly, you know that at some point during the course of the day you're going to be adding fly floating to your flies to keep it from soaking up water and sinking. If everybody carries around a little bottle like this with a, a soft version or a little tub like this that's more of a paste version. And there's thousands of videos I've seen on, on YouTube on how to apply this to a fly. This video is different. I'm going to show you how to make the stuff. If you've looked in catalogs and in fly shops and things, you'll know there are a lot of different brands of fly floatant. I'm not reproducing or using anybody's secret formula for making this. This is something that over years of research and development that uh, I have discovered as being quite a simple formula. And that's what we're going to show you is how to make a basic floatant. And I really think a lot of them on the market are just a few ingredients, maybe a couple more things in to make them proprietary than what I'm going to show you today, but I'm not copying anybody's formula. But I'm going to show you how to make a great floatant. The basic components to get to either of these in the tub or in the little uh, bottle are three things. First, paraffin. This is a, like you get in a canning department of a grocery store or a candle making department. It's just blocks of basically clear paraffin. The second is mineral oil. Now mineral oil um, you can get in hardware stores, you can get in pharmacies, even probably health food stores. It has a lot of different uses in soaps and cosmetics and all kinds of things. So this is just plain old pure mineral oil. The third thing is known in the industry as white petrolatum snow. You'll know it was Vaseline. Those are the three ingredients we're going to use to make the stuff. Now the tools are pretty simple as well. We need a hot plate or some source of heat. You can do it on your stove, but if you spill it, you can get a little messy. When I was making this stuff in five gallon batches, we were using actually uh, the outside edge of a barbecue grill, one of the burners, propane burners on a barbecue grill. Since all of these, if they get heated extensively, will create smoke, which of course you don't want wherever you're making it, and they're also possibly flammable, you want to use not only a hot plate, but then some type of a double boiler system. So what I've got here is just a simple pan, about a half inch of water in it, and then this is an old film canister. You can use a soup can or a tuna fish can or whatever you'd like to put in the water to make your double boiler. So that's the basic hardware all you need. Some measuring spoons, a stir stick, um, I always keep an X-Acto knife handy, and a pair of pliers. And that's basically all the equipment. So let's show you how to get this started. First thing we need to do is decide on our units of measure and also we're going to cut some paraffin. For our units of measure, we're going to use a tablespoon for this batch. We're going to make a small batch that's equal to about five or six containers like this, basically a lifetime supply of floatant. And to do that, we're going to have to cut our paraffin. Paraffin is two and a half inches wide, so if you go two and a half over an inch and a quarter and make a couple of cuts, we're going to make some cubes of paraffin. You just make a couple passes with the exacto knife and then take a, a board and set that crack right on the board break your paraffin off now if you cut that again you'd have two cubes basically the same size those are about equal to a tablespoon they're close enough that for our formula they're going to work so that's our paraffin now that the paraffin's cut we're ready to start uh, i've got my hot plate set up i've got it turned on to medium heat I've got my pan with about a half inch of water in on top of the uh, hot plate and my little can for my double boiler vessel inside. So the first thing we do is just add the paraffin. We'll just drop that paraffin in there. Let it sit. Once the paraffin's in, we're going to add our mineral oil. And I add mineral oil next for a very good reason. It makes the measuring device slippery so when we add our Vaseline it'll come out of the measuring device easily. So let's put our mineral oil in. It's right in on top. Now we'll 
bladder Vaseline. We're just going to take a scoop. We want it to be a nice level scoop of Vaseline. And we'll use our stir stick to get it into the vessel. We'll use our stir stick to kind of help get that out. The reason I did the mineral oil first is because the mineral oil makes the measuring device a little slick so the Vaseline doesn't scoop quite, stick quite as much to it. Let's get as much of that out there as we can. Scrape it off the side of the pan. Main thing is you try not to get too much of it into the outside water in the water bath. Well, that's going to sit there and start to heat. As this heats, you can stir it. First, it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just starting to uh, liquefy. You can start to see little bits of the wax flaking off as it warms. It has to be all brought up so it's an even temperature so it all gets dissolved and mixed evenly. Now it's getting there. Now all the Vaseline has dissolved and we're just getting down to that last little bit of wax. So a couple more minutes it should be good. Once everything's dissolved and you stir it, it should be all nice and clear. You shouldn't see any striations or anything because that's a chemical or a, one of the compounds that's not mixed in well. But normally once it gets to this heat level of being dissolved, they're all mixing pretty well. And you can turn the heat off. It's basically done now and we can remove it from the heat. So now what we need to do is set out a place for it to cool slightly. So I'll put a towel out and of course this is hot. So I'm just going to grab the tin with a pair of pliers. After it's cooled just slightly I'm going to take the towel out from under it so you can see what I'm doing here. Now to get from this to this there are several ways to make that happen. One is just again your simple measuring spoon with a, it's got a little spout on it. Doing it large batches, we used a turkey baster. And if you're doing it into these small bottles uh, that have a cap that comes off, a small funnel will usually help. But there's a difference in formula between this and this, and I'll tell you what that is in just a minute. But before this cools down too much, let's just take a little scoop out of there and fill our container and it cools pretty quickly you can already see it setting up on the spoon because the spoon was quite a bit colder now there's our full I'm not going to tip it so you can see it but there's our full container of fly flint now you want to make sure that you dispense all of it from here into the containers before it totally cools or it'll just solidify. The easy thing to do is you just set the whole container with the spoon in it back in your double boiler, heat it back up, it'll all dissolve and then you can keep going. The smaller the batch is, the quicker of course it cools and sets up. So that is how it's made and put in the container. So now I understand that this may not be something you want to do just for yourself because it takes a little bit of work and makes quite a bit even a small batch. But if you've got a fly club that likes to get together and do projects, have everybody bring a container or two, make a batch, everybody will get their container of fly floating for pennies on the dollar literally and uh, they'll be happy with it and it'll be a fun experience. If you're making this for the for the container you can stick your hand in and warm it up so it gets on your fingers to apply to your fly. The formula again is two parts paraffin, one part mineral oil, one part Vaseline. If you're going to make it and you happen to have some little squeezy bottles like this, especially ones that have to squeeze out a small top, you double the Vaseline. So it's two parts paraffin, one part mineral oil, two parts Vaseline. That keeps it soft enough and smooth enough that it'll dispense out the top of a bottle with a little squeezy cap like that on it that uh, you can't get to to warm it up. So that is how it's done. Um, try it out, have some fun. 
be careful with things because they are hot. Don't let any unsupervised kids around because that would burn them if it was spilled on them. Um, a fire extinguisher, if you're a little leery of spilling things on the burner, would not be a bad idea because like the paraffin on a burner can ignite and also smoke. So it just uses some basic precautions, but uh, it's a very simple product to make and everybody uses it. So I hope this helps out some people out there and uh, get together, have a party when our coronavirus is over and make some fly floating. Thanks for watching.